Hello and welcome back. In this episode I want to have a look at something called advanced occlusion. Last time we looked when we created some track pants, we looked at how to prevent our underlying mesh from poking through. Um, this time I'm going to look at something a little bit more complex. Here I am again, I've created an UMA, I've added some colours and a few overlays and slots just to make them look a little bit more human. And I'm going to create um, a vest item for him from our pack that we loaded in the previous lesson. So, uh, first thing, um, you may notice I've got something else here. I'll show you that later. But I'm going to create a new UMA DCS wardrobe recipe, just like before. You may notice that these errors appear when we first create one of these. Don't panic about them. They will go away as soon as we select a race. I'm going to call this uh, track top Y. Okay, and again, let's pick our races. So, human male DCS and human male. There we go. Just like we did before, um, the wardrobe slot, this is going to go onto the chest. And let's put some slots and overlays in there. So, in my secrets folder, uh, in the components, the track top, there we are. Um, you'll notice there's a few more overlays in here. Um, let's get our, there we are, the slot. Pop that in there. And scroll down and I'm going to add, um, let's have a little look, the base overlay. There it is. So we'll pop that in there as well. So this should just work. Okay. So when I go back to my UMA, I should be able to add it here. Of course, it hasn't been added to the global library. Um, I'm going to do that just using the error marker that I used before. So there we go. That's now been added. So we should see this appear on our character. Now straight away you can see uh, this particular model. There's a tiny bit of poke through happening around the front. And let's just have a little look around the back. No, nope, that's fine. So it's only a very small area that I've got a problem with here. Um, now typically what we did with the legs, we went back to our recipe and we said, oh well, hide the slot underneath. And for this one, it would of course be the torso. Unfortunately, this particular clothing item was not designed to cover the entire torso. So as you can see, this is not going to work. Hmm. So we need another solution. Now, typically, what people have done in the past, and you may find this when you download asset packs from the store, they would create a replacement torso with those pieces of mesh missing that you would use um, when you were wearing that particular item of clothing. Horribly messy because once you start to get a lot of different items of clothing with different torso meshes, it becomes very confusing and difficult to handle. So again, those very clever people at UMA created something called a mesh hide asset. And this is a great way we can actually paint out the areas where we want polygons to be removed when we're wearing a specific piece of clothing. So in our track top Y, we're going to create one of these mesh hide assets. Very easy to do. If we um, right click or create UMA, and into MISC and what we're after is this mesh hide asset. If I create one of those, let's um, let's name this so it's specific to this actual item. So we'll call this track top hider. It's good enough for me. Um, and what you'll notice over here, the first thing it's wanting to know is what um, slot data asset we want to hide triangles from. So if you think about it, what we're actually after here we want to hide not from our piece of clothing, we want to hide triangles from our torso. Now, how do we find the torso mesh? Um, you can look through the base recipe, but by clicking here, I can scroll down. I happen to know that this is right the way down here. There's an awful lot of these, isn't there? So it may be worth looking at your base recipe, as we, we did before, to actually find the slot that's being used. But I happen to know it's this UMA human male torso slot. So I'm going to select that um, and I'm going to say begin editing. What it will do, rather like uh, using Mechanim, it will save the current scene and move to an editor scene. So I'm going to say save and continue and it will bring up the torso mesh, um, which I can 
move around have a look at there's a lot of instructions up here um, there's a few tools down here but essentially what this lets us do is paint an area on the torso that we want to hide now it was somewhere around here where our problem was so I'm going to hold shift down and I'm going to click and drag and I'm just going to paint this area out um, we can also do it by um, without holding shift you can actually box select areas you can switch to unselect to delete triangles it's very very easy to use um, and when I've finished I'm going to say save and return okay so that has painted out let's just have a look again begin editing it's painted this area of the torso okay so how do I add that very straightforward if I go back to my recipe I'm going to drag my track top hider onto this array of mesh hide assets so you can actually use more than one and um, these are really clever they interact with each other so you could have another item of clothing that hides pieces of that torso mesh as well so it, it's it just works beautifully when I press run now fingers crossed what I should see again I've got most of it but I've got two tiny little pieces here you can just see there that I've missed so now that's associated I can just go back in to my hiding mesh let's edit it a little bit more so I'm going to take another row here uh, let's hold shift down just so I can paint just a little bit further out and I tell you what it's not going to hurt if I go down here either so let's just take some more of that out and tidy that up save and return let's run now and voila those triangles are being removed from the mesh just to prove that that's working again let's go back in let's do something silly um, let's take a strip out of the arm there okay save and return and you can see this is exactly what it's doing so it's removing those triangles fabulous tool now I do want to show you um, that it's even cleverer than that um, what I will say is I made a mistake when I was modeling my uh, tracksuit so this won't work with a tracksuit top but um, I'm going to use one of Will B's assets here um, I've actually downloaded his um, Ranger refit and I've just added that to my character here so I've made myself a custom wardrobe recipe here as you can see exactly like um, where is it there we are exactly like before so I've just added the slot and the overlay when I run I'm gonna get the same sort of problem um, again if you look there's an area down here in fact it's so close fitting there's lots and lots of different areas that need masking out um, this could be a bit more complicated than the last one um, but let's have a little look so if I create myself a new let's have a look Uma uh, mesh hide asset again we'll call this ranger hider lovely um, and the actual slot that I want to hide triangles from is again that human male torso slot and I'm going to hit begin editing save and continue now um, pretty much it looked like I want to hide absolutely everything apart from the arms um, but there's a way I can get a guide for this I can actually put that slot on the top by using this field here so I can see where I need to hide so let's have a little look here if I go into his ranger outfit and find this ranger upper slot drop that in you can now see a ghosted version of that slot over the top of my torso so this makes it very very easy for me to say right now I'm going to hide all of that and I'm going to hide all of that now obviously that's that's only rough so you can see if we get closer in that I need to just clear out some of these triangles just to make it actually render correctly we don't want any gaps in him again let's have rid of these lovely that looks fabulous let's do the same on the other side just tidy this up a little bit uh, again I'm going to say unselect that looks pretty good to me oh 
obviously missed this big lump around the top here. Let's just take those triangles out of the equation. Yes, in fact, let's just whip those out as well. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to save and return. So what we should see now, if we add that to our, where is it, our ranger top, we add our ranger hider mesh. Let's see what happens when we run. Bam, look at that. Let's have a little look around him and see if we missed anything. There's nothing poking out from his arms. This is all cleaned up. Very nice. So that's rather a wonderful tool, um, as I'm sure you'll agree. Rather than having to go back and remodel and create special things, we can do it all inside Uma. Fabulous stuff. Okay, thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.